Beautiful people, welcome back to a brand new video. As you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, today we're doing tips and tricks how to get every single character unlocked the fastest way possible. So we're not going to be going into spirits mode and going by the uh, the whole storyline or games and more and playing classic mode, or even going online and just fighting random people until it says you know um, a new foe has appeared. We're actually going to be going into uh, a, a custom smash thing. Now before we get started with this, you're actually going to need two controllers. You can't do this without two controllers, unfortunately. So if you if you have just like the normal ones that come with the the um, the switch, you, that counts as one controller. Both sides count as one controller. So you need to go pick up yourself um, a regular controller, um, a pro controller, or a GameCube controller. If you don't have one of those, I'm sorry, you can't do this method. Um, maybe one of your friends can come over and bring over his controller or something like that. It's easily paired. Um, but after you get those two controllers, you're gonna head into Smash, regular Smash. You're gonna create a new rule set. You're gonna to wanna to put it on stock, put it on one stock, put the time limit to whatever, because it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna put it on three. Now, all these other things don't really matter. Um, you know, yeah, none of these things really matter. But I'm gonna change it because it's the pro settings, and it's, it's kind of what I like to do, is just have no items on whatsoever. This CPU level doesn't matter because you're gonna be playing with uh, yourself essentially, since so you're gonna have two controllers. Now you can name this whatever. Um, I, gr I labeled mine grind. Um, I'll put a grind one, just to uh, clarify what it is. And once you've saved that, it'll immediately go into this. Doesn't matter what stage you pick whatsoever. So you can pick one random one. I always put it to battlefield because again, I play by uh, tournament rules. So now once you're in here, you know, just pick whatever character that you're comfortable with um, actually fighting to get a new character. My main is Ganondorf. I always put him on purple. Um, so now you're gonna wanna get your other controller and sync your controller with the with the system, obviously. And once you've done that, it doesn't really matter what character you pick at all, so just pick a random one, and then you can start the fight. Now once the fight has actually launched, all you're gonna do is just grab your second controller, the one that you don't wanna fight against a new foe with, and simply just jump off the map. Obviously gonna end the, end the game because it's only one stock. Then as soon as you do that, you're obviously gonna, you know, do all the normal stuff to end the game, and it's gonna immediately give you a foe to, to fight. Now I'm gonna fight him really quick because obviously I haven't unlocked this guy yet. So let me fight him really quick and then I'll show you what to do after this. All right, now I've unlocked my character. The next step is very important. Instead of going back into there and doing the same thing over again, it, nothing will happen. I swear, nothing will happen. Um, so what you actually wanna do is you wanna go back to your home screen. You wanna press X to close your, your software. And you wanna launch it up again. Now after you've reset the game, completely turned it off, turned it back on, you go back into the regular smash mode and you go back to that grind one that you made. Again, it doesn't matter what stage you play on whatsoever, just make sure you pick a character that you're comfortable in. Again, again, that's Ganondorf for me. Purple Ganondorf, it's very important. And then after that, obviously you want to go over here and just turn it to where another controller can connect. Connect the controller, pick a random character, start the fight. It's the exact same thing that we just did but we're doing it again, so, so I can show you that this works every single time, no matter what. Again, you're going to take that second character you're not comfortable playing with, just kill him really quick. Obviously the game ends because there's only one stock, and you get another character every single time it works like this. Guaranteed. And if it doesn't, I will personally apologize to you in a, in a separate video, just because I know it'll work every single time. Now just try not to get your ass kicked, because that could happen. All right, now that I got that character, um, I'm gonna show you guys one time, one more time, just really quickly. I might fast forward a little bit and not talk over it. Uh, but essentially, you're just gonna be, like I said, you're just gonna be completely closing down the game again and restarting it and going straight back into it. And just like last time, you're gonna go straight back into the smash mode. You can go back to your grind category. Any map again, doesn't matter what it is. Pick the character that you're comfortable with. Purple Ganondorf for me. Make sure that the other controller can connect. Pick a random character, doesn't matter, start the fight. And again, just go off the map and kill yourself with a character that you don't care about. Fully end the match, and you get another character. I'm telling you this works every single time, you can do this all the way up until you get all the characters. It's a little time consuming, but it's a lot faster than sitting here and trying to grind for multiple hours, even possibly days or weeks, to get every single character if you're not like a, a hardcore grinder and you don't want to sit there for hours. 
it's the fastest way you can possibly get every single character and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm just gonna you know finish up this fight and then do the outro before i end the video i want to show you that if you do happen to lose uh your your fight against the foe has appeared um you can actually go back into games and more and after a certain amount of time this symbol will appear next to the amiibos area you click on it and it'll immediately launch the, the fight that you had lost. Sometimes they can stack up and you'll have multiple people in here and you can just grind those out really quickly, but it does take a amount of time. I'm not entirely sure how long it takes, but resetting your game actually won't work for that. That's the one thing I did find out. But you can go in there, you can fight the people, you can get them back. If you lose again, they're still there. It's just, it's gonna take a little bit longer to get them. All right guys, and with that, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.